Hi kids! Welcome back to our virtual Sunday School. Napakasaya ko dahil nakabalik muli ako para makapagturo sa inyo. Muli ako si Teacher Nicole at isashare ko sa inyo kung ano yung Bible story natin today. Pero bago ang lahat, kamusta na tayo? Kamusta tayo sa ating mga tahanan? Prayerfully tayo ay maayos at palaging malakas. Malakas sa kalusugan, malakas sa pananampalagay. palataya sa Diyos at malakas ang ating puso't isipan. Ayan! Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong mga kids dahil nandito kayo ngayon kasama natin at makikinig ng story ni Lord. Ayan! So, ano nga ba ang pag-aaralan natin this Sunday? Ito ay pinamagatang Joshua has the courage. At Meron ba kayong mga Bible? Kung meron kayo, very good. Kung, ma- kung wala naman, okay lang. Uh, sa mga may Bible, buksan natin ang ating Biblia sa book ni Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 9. Ayan, doon natin makikita ang ating Bible story. At handa na ba kayo makinig ng ating Bible story? Parinig nga ako handa na. Say handa na po ako. Medyo mahina. Medyo mahina. Handa na ba? Ayan. Very good. Very, very, very good kayo, kids. So, tara, samahan niyo si Teacher Nicole. At pakinggan natin ang story ni Joshua. God's story. Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. So part of God's story is about a guy named Joshua, and it goes like this. Forty years after God led his family out of Egypt and through the desert, he chose Joshua to lead them to an amazing home he had promised them called Canaan. Now Canaan wasn't their home yet, not really. See, people lived there already in a big city called Jericho. They had heard how God parted the Red Sea and rained down food from heaven for his family. They had heard how God had led his family with a cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. And they realized that if God wanted his family to move into Canaan, he would do something remarkable to get them there. So they were ready for an epic fight. In the past, that had really scared God's family. But here's the thing. God knew Jericho looked scary for his family. So when it was time to go, he reminded Joshua that he was in control. God said, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua might have felt afraid, but he chose to be strong and courageous. Have you ever done something you know is right, even though you were scared? Anyway, for a while, God's family camped out, waiting to go in, wondering how to get through Jericho's walls. Then one night, Joshua looked up and saw a man standing in front of him. He was holding a sword, and looked ready for battle, but Joshua didn't recognize him. He asked, are you on our side or our enemy's side? The man said, neither, I'm on the Lord's side. At that moment, Joshua realized that it was God appearing as a soldier. He fell on his face and worshiped him. God was definitely with them and would lead the Israelites into Jericho. Well, after that, God told Joshua how to get through Jericho's walls. Here's what he told Joshua to do. March around the city once every day for six days. Have seven priests get trumpets made out of ram's horns and carry them. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times. The priests should blow the trumpets during the march. When they blow a long blast, all the men should shout. Then the walls would fall. Joshua might have wondered how walking and yelling would make walls fall, but he didn't question God. He trusted God, so he obeyed. And guess what? At the last trumpet blast, the walls fell, just like God said they would. God promised not to leave his family, and he didn't. He helped them get through an impossible wall and move into their new and beautiful home. And through Joshua, God would continue to help his family. In fact, Joshua finally became so sure of God's power that he was able to help others to be strong and courageous, just like God had helped him. And that's the story of Joshua. 
But you want to know the best part? God appeared as a man to show Joshua that he would fight for his family and bring them safely to their new home. Joshua had nothing to fear. And later, Jesus came to earth as a man to fight for us by taking our punishment for sin so that one day we can live with him in a perfect new home, which means we have nothing to fear. Like Joshua, we can be strong and courageous. And that's a part of God's story. Hi kids! Napakinggan ba natin ng maigi ang ating Bible story? Ha? Ano ulit? Napakinggan ba natin? Hmm? Very good! At dahil dyan, pag-aaralan natin ano bang meron kay Joshua. Bakit ang title ng Bible story natin today is Joshua has the courage. Ibig sabihin sa Tagalog, si Joshua ay matapang. Pag-aralan natin kung paano tinanggap at pinigyang responsibilidad ni Joshua ang pagkatawag sa kanya ng Panginoon. Madali ba maging leader? Madali ba maging leader ng maraming tao? Siyempre hindi. At si Joshua ay tinawag ng Panginoon bilang maging leader pagkatapos mamatay ni Moses. Siyempre, after mamatay ni Moses, sino na maglilid sa mga tao? Sino na maglilid sa mga Israelites? Eh di ba, yun nga ang goal ni God, ang madalang mga Israelites sa kanaan, ang promised land. Kung tinawag siya ng Panginoon, pwedeng maramdaman ni Joshua matakot, mabalisa, mawala sa sarili, dahil Oo nga naman, tao lang naman tayo. Bakit? Paano ko ma, pa, kung ako si Joshua, paano ko malilid tong maraming mga tao na to? Yung buong Israelites, paano ko malilid sila? Paano ko sila uh, dadalhin papunta sa kanaan? Pero naisip ni Joshua, hindi siya ang gagawa nun, kundi ang Panginoon. Parang ang mangyayari, ginawa lang, na instrument, ginawang instrument, ang nangyari ay ginawang instrumento ng Panginoon si Joshua para ilid ang kanyang mga anak or ang mga Israelites papunta sa kanaan, ang promised land. Siyempre, natural lang na pwedeng maramdaman ni Joshua na matakot dahil hindi madali yung pagkatawag sa kanya ng Panginoon, yung ipinapagawa sa kanya ng pana- Panginoon, yung ginagawa sa kanya ng Panginoon. Pero, nagtiwala si Joshua, hindi siya nagpadala sa mga iniisip ng ibang tao. Kung ano man yung mga wala sa kanya, hindi nagpadala dun si Joshua at sumunod siya sa Panginoon. Imbis na matakot, si Joshua ay tumawag sa Panginoon at nanalangin. Nanalangin na bigyan siya ng kalakasan para sundin ang kagustuhan o ang pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa kanya. At sa pagsunod ni Joshua, siya ay isa sa mga naging pinakamagaling na leader ng mga Israelites. Bakit kaya siya naging pinakamagaling na leader? Dahil siya ay nag, unang-una, nagtiwala sa Panginoon. Pangalawa, kumuha siya ng kalakasan, nagpray siya kay Lord, nabigyan siya ng kalakasan para masunod o magawa kung ano yung pinapagawa ni Lord. Pangatlo, sumunod siya sa Panginoon dahil para sa ikabubuti ng buong Israelites. ba? Diba? So, ayun ang ating mga natutunan sa buhay ni Joshua. ba? Diba? Hindi madaling sumunod. Pero, sa pagtitiwala natin sa Panginoon, tayo ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Ayan, very good kid. Kung ngayon, nakikinig pa din kayo kay Teacher Nicole at sa Word ni God, very good kayo agad sa amin. Very good na very good kayo kay God. Ngayon naman, tayo ay magpapatuloy na. Ayan. Very good. Ngayon naman, para sa ating Bible verse, sabay-sabay nating digkasin at pag-aralan 
ang Bible verse na ito na nanggaling sa Book of Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. Isa pa nga, Book of Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. So, para mas maintindihan at makabisado nating maigi, tara sa Manus Teacher Nicole at pag-aralan natin ito. Lagyan natin ng action. Ayan. So, let's go. Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. Sa panga, Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. Sinabi ni Joshua sa kanila, Huwag kayong matakot ni Mang Lupaypay. Kayo'y magpalakas at magpakatapang ng maigi. O diba, madali lang, isa pa nga. Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. Sinabi ni Joshua sa kanila, Huwag kayong matakot ni Mang Lupaypay. Kayo'y magpakalakas at magpakatapang ng maigi. Joshua chapter 10 verse 25. Very good kids! Good job! Hello everyone! Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to teach how to make a very simple origami heart. This is a traditional model. I think it's ideal for beginners and all we need to make it is a square of paper. You can use any size and any type. I recommend 15 by 15 centimeters, 6 by 6 inches. And the first step is to fold in half along both diagonals as letter X. First this one. Then the opposite. Now rotate the paper in this position and fold the top corner to the middle. Just like that. Now fold the bottom corner to the top. With this done, let's fold half of the bottom edge to the middle. First here on the right side. And then on the left. Right. Turn the paper over and fold these two top corners down. Fold like this until this line. Now let's do the same on the lateral corners. First this one. And also the other. With this done, our origami heart is ready. As I said, very easy to make, I hope most have been able to do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and until the next time. Very good kids! Ngayon naman, bago tayo mag-end o magtapos sa ating Sunday School, tayo ay mag-closing prayer muna. O sige, si Teacher Nicole na lang magpe-pray. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po dahil nandito kami ngayon at nakapakinig po kami ng iyong mga salita. Lord, 
Salamat din po at ligtas ang aming pamilya at ang aming mga kaibigan. Nananalangin po kami na may pagpapakumbaba, Panginoon, na salamat din po sa buhay ni Joshua na nagbibigay sa amin ng paalala para Lord mas magtiwala sa inyo, magkaroon ng tapang at mas lalo kang mahalin. Salamat sa mga salitang naayag nyo, Panginoong Jesus, at sa susunod na linggo, idako nyo po muli kami sa virtual Sunday school namin at sabay-sabay kaming makinig ng yung mga salita. Mahal ka po namin, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, ang lahat ay magsabi ng Amen! Very good! Congratulations, kids! See you next Sunday school!